Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be painting some dandelions. We're going to paint some yellow ones and we're going to paint the puffy ones that you blow on and make a wish. We're just mixing up some sap green and then we're just going to go in and just start creating these very thin wispy lines to create our stems. And remember, these do not have to be perfect. We're just going to do some long ones, some skinny ones, some shorter ones. So I'm going to just do three total. But you can see they're different sizes and if you go outside pick some dandelions take a look at them they are all different but next we're going to go in and we're going to paint the receptacle which is this upside down sort of triangle shape that attaches to the stem and i'm just going to make sure it's fully attached there and then let it dry and we're going to mix up some burnt umber like a brownish color and we're going to create that center of that dandelion that we love to blow and make wishes with but that center is brown and that's where all the seeds are so I'm just gonna stipple some dots to create that center and I'm gonna leave space underneath because we're gonna go around this to add on those little pieces that blow away so I mixed my green with a little bit of brown and I'm just creating these swoopy lines underneath and they're sort of going out and up towards the sides and on the top, I'm gonna to mix this gray color. I'm just gonna use a gray and I'm gonna use a pretty large amount of water to make it very light. And I'm going up the same way I went down. And we're going to sort of let that dry a bit. And I'm gonna take out my drawing gum. And now here, I'm gonna use a brush that I don't care about. So this is, um, another word for this is masking fluid. If you're not familiar with this, you can paint on your paper with this. I'm using this brush that I could technically throw away. Um, I got it for very inexpensive, and if you clean it with dish soap right after, you shouldn't have a problem, but I never do that. Um, I'm just gonna use that, and I'm gonna go in a circle, and I'm just gonna start creating these sort of X's. And you can do little star shapes. I'm just simply making X's, and I'm going around the circle and then see here I'm going to put one through the center you can do whichever you prefer you can make little dots if you want but we're going to eventually paint over this with a light wash of gray and you will see the magic happen then but yes just fill in wherever you want it doesn't matter how many or how little you do I'm just going to go around a little bit there and then I'm gonna try, try to salvage my brush. So I, I washed in a little bit of water and now I'm just gonna pick out anything that seems to be stuck there. And now I'm just gonna go into yellow and I see when I look at dandelions, some cool yellow and then some warm yellow in the center. So we're gonna go into our cool yellow. The one that's facing upwards, you can see that they sort of go out to the sides when you're looking at it this way. So we're just gonna create these little dabs with your brush. And I will have all the tools that I'm using linked in the description below. But I'm using a thin round brush, it's a size number two. And I'm just gonna create all these little petals going up and out. And that's sort of like a side view. And then if you look at a dandelion, I pulled one up here because mine looks pretty sad. Um, I put it on my desk and I didn't keep it with water, so it's kind of browning. But we're just gonna go around in a circle and this is as if you were looking straight at the dandelion from that perspective. So I'm using this lighter yellow to go around and I'm leaving that center open. And within that center, I will put some more of a warmer, almost orangey yellow in the center, or you could use maybe like a yellow ochre, but I do wanna, I like to use playful bright colors and kind of keep it within what nature is. So a yellow ochre would probably be great or just a little bit of like a yellowy orange. And we're just gonna layer on top of that. You can wait for it to dry completely before you go in with your layers. I do like the look of sort of like those blooms and bleeds, so I went right into it. But as that dries, I will go back in later and add some more depth. Now I'm mixing up gray, and you can add a bunch of water to this because you want it to be pretty translucent. And now that this masking fluid is dry, I'm just gonna go over top, around. I'm avoiding that center, but I'm going over the masking fluid and those little dots. And this is like a nice light gray wash. 
we're just going to go around in a circle. You can kind of dab on the end so it's not like a perfect circle because in nature, I don't really see anything like perfectly circle. <laughs> and then I'm going in with a little bit of a darker gray and where those little masking fluid dots are, I'm going to go around them and it's going to pull around them. But the cool part is, is once this is dry, you're going to peel that up. It's going to be darker gray where that masking fluid was and it's going to be a lighter gray where you put the wash. So let that dry completely. Don't touch it. And then we'll go back in and add a little more yellow to where things have dried. So I'm just going to create some more layers. They're a little bit messy and a little disheveled. They're not perfect, but I just like to add, add some depth to my paintings. You can skip this if you if you're happy with the way yours looks. Now I'm just going to mix up my green and I'm going to use the sap green but I'm going to add a little depth to it and we're just going to draw some lines in and dandelion leaves they don't grow from the plant itself on the stem they grow from the ground and then the dandelions grow out from that sort of patch of leaves and they have this center line and then they almost have an arrow shape to them which is so unique i really like the way that they look when i was painting them i was just like these are so unique um but i'm just kind of simplifying it by making these sort of triangles without the bottom and just attaching it to that middle stem and then as they get lower they sort of they're all different they're not all the same and I think a lot of bugs eat them, so some of them have like little bites taken out of them, and some of them are missing some edges and some tips, but basically it's almost like an arrow, and they're very cool. But I'm just gonna go in and do different sort of shapes. Like this one's gonna be a little bit more sticking up, and it doesn't have to be perfect. These are a little bit looser. Um, we're not going to go in and do like too many crazy details. If you know my tutorials, you know that I'm not like super detail oriented. But this is a good place where you can start. And if you are a person that does like to add details, you can definitely do that with this structure. But this one's a little more jaggedy. And I'm going to do on this side. I'm just going to play with different shapes. This one's going to be a little thicker, a little darker green. And I'm just gonna keep pulling from that. And I think like technically dandelions are considered weeds, but I think they're so pretty and they have such great benefits to them. Like if you really look them up. So I hate when they're called weeds, but I'm just gonna also put in some grass just to like finish that up because there's not all leaves. They're growing from the ground. So they're surrounded by grass. I'm going to put a little darker grass in there just to add some contrast. I'm just going to keep mixing up some colors. I'm going to darken those centers. And you can wait for this until it's completely dry if you don't want any bleeds. But I, like I said, I really like to have a little bit of a bleed going on and just like mixes of colors. Just add a little definition into them so we don't lose that center stem. Yeah, you can just add as many little pieces of grass as you want. I'm going to go back into that cool yellow and go back into my dandelions. Make these a little bit more pronounced. Look how fun that is. I just love the brightness. Um, adding some little petals here and there. Again, you don't have to do this, but... I like to wait for things to dry and I can't just leave it alone. Okay, this is dry now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start gently peeling this off. They do make a tool for this. I don't own it. But as you can see, it is exposing the white of the paper. It looks so cool. Just keep scraping. You could blow on it. You could use a like a piece of uh, you could use a brush and brush away the the glue. Now I'm going to mix up some dark gray and I'm going to go into this dandelion and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the masking fluid. We're going to create little lines inside that are going to connect to these little X's. So I'm, I'm creating the little star X shapes, whatever you want to call these. 
and then I'm just gonna like kind of put some lines in there that sort of connect them to the center because we're not technically doing this like perfectly in nature it's just giving the idea of the dandelion um, so these little lines will give you the idea oops of these sort of they're attached and it's just so fun and now we're gonna create those little X's as if you were making a wish and it, or it was blowing away in the wind and these are light I'm gonna go in with a little bit darker I'm just gonna build like a little it's just cute like maybe you could leave a chunk out as if it like came off the dandelion in a chunk but I'm just playing around here and then you see these little pieces here that are on the receptacle we're going to they do have a name I don't know the name but <laughs> bracked I think it's called but um, they're just gonna come right off of the bottom of that sort of triangle and then I'm just gonna go back in while that dries and add some random little pieces like little loose rough pieces of grass in the background and eventually I think if you look you'll see a lot of these have buds that aren't open so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit but I'm just going to fill in that spot so it doesn't look so boring and then I'm gonna go in and create some buds for sure I always like to add buds so it's like a little circle with that little those little bracts coming out the bottom and you can do as many as you want. You can do them lighter and a lighter green with some yellow. But yeah, I'm just gonna fill in some little light yellow pieces. And then I'm gonna deepen the center here, make it a little darker so it comes stands out a little bit more. Add in my little final finishing touches. I always like to just go back in. If you wanna add more details, feel free to do that. I'm adding some splatter. I just love the look of like a mess. So you just tap on your brush, fill it up with whatever color. I think I use a little bit of green mixture with yellow. Nothing too crazy. Just add some really fun interest. And that is really it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'd love to hear what you enjoyed, what you didn't, and any ideas that you have for future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon for more watercolor tips and tutorials. And until next time, happy painting!